Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Amerson Speaks. I finally got my damn green screen, so I'm happy as hell about that. But today's video is, are you hot? And what do I think of you? Basically, I'm going to roast your Facebook. If you get offended easily, please click away. If not, thank you for supporting me. Okay, in this picture, I really like your shirt. I'm digging the emojis, although it's too emoji-ish. It's something that should have died in 2014. You have like the little basic pug filter bitch lip thing going on. I can't really make that. So I'll just zoom in real quick to show you what I mean. Your hair looks cool, it looks a little curled, it kind of looks heat damaged on the left, which is your right. Um, if I were to rate this, your eyebrows are okay, maybe you could look, do a little bit more with them. You know, nothing too wrong with them. Decent amount of makeup, black and white filters, cool. You have another one of those Tumblr pictures, your finger, uh, your middle finger looks abnormally bigger than the other three. I don't know if that's your thigh beside you or a pillow, but hopefully you're leaning over in a weird position. Usually when I take a selfie, my eyes are open, not closed, as if I'm smug like I'm in San Francisco. Maybe you should just take on modeling or some shit. You might, you might have a shot for it, you know? You have a decent amount of pictures and you look pretty good in almost all of them. I haven't seen an ugly one so far. In general, you are an attractive person. If you do have any like body shaming issues going on, please don't do that. You know, you got a, you know, a genuinely ideal body and everything that any girl would kind of want. So don't feel bad about that. Who wants to talk on the phone? Bored ass fuck. <laughs> I've never liked talking on the phone. This picture says, because she says she ain't skinny, like, if she is skinny, comment yes or no. Yes. Well, in this body, you have a proportionally figured stomach. I don't see anything wrong with it, although your thighs could use a little bit more. Other than that, the thigh gap is great. Don't change anything about your diet or anything. Just keep doing you. It's working out. All right, on to Rachel Nicole Lumpkins. Your last name just tells a lot about a person's body. Okay, so until I find something that I actually want to talk about, here's a video of me dancing with Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's. Knowing you for years, we've always been nice to each other, but now I'm about to fucking roast you! Here we have one of those basic bitch braces pictures. Don't take selfies with braces because it looks like a train track ran over your fucking face. In regards to your attractiveness, whether you're ugly or not, do you need to change your diet or anything? If you're fat or skinny, I would put you on the skinny side. You could use at least a good 15 pounds at most. You're not ugly. You take somewhat good pictures. Most of them are basic. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just being real here. And who all doesn't appreciate a friend that's completely fucking honest? While we're on the topic of basic bitch pictures, what is a basic bitch? Well, a basic bitch is a white woman. And I didn't mean to be offensive. Because you want to know what else is scary? <laughs> that was scary. How sweet to be called something I'm not by someone who is. Nigga, you blind aff. Nigga, Natalie's fucking cunt and a damn whore, and I'm actually happy with Destiny. So get TF out of my Snapchat with that bullshit, and Destiny looks ten times better than Natalie ever could. And she's a lot nicer and a better person. Well, if I had a picture of this Destiny girl, I would put them side by Me and my baby could be in the biggest argument of our entire relationship, and guess what? I'm still gonna curve you niggas. How are you gonna curve them? How are you gonna curve them? That would involve body dismemberment. Soon as midnight hit, I haven't got no exes, and my FL evaporated as fuck. All y'all who's dead to me, so all y'all motherfuckers never existed in my presence. I didn't understand that sentence, but might I go ahead and point this out, that because the year has changed, that does not change whether or not you have had an ex or not. That year, they're still your ex. The only thing that could change that is nothing. To all girls watching this, the whole duck face thing is not cute, you know? If I wanted to put my dick in a duck's mouth, I would go fuck a duck. You should smile because smiles are always prettier and smiles make cocks twitch. These Brie Morgan's Um, are you even?
even Mexican? Are you even Mexico, bro? Picture right here, you have cool eyes, your lips are very full, you have somewhat of a, your nose reminds me of a pickle. I don't know why, your hair looks a little fringed, maybe it's heat damaged as almost all girls' hair is. I almost look like one of those white girls that are basic with the Starbucks and shit and always goes after the black guys and then leaves them and then like throws $20 on the floor and go buy you some fucking new heels or some shit. Eyebrows are very on point and you use a good proportion of makeup. Um, you have a great body, don't change anything about that. You're not too skinny, you're not fat or anything. I put you on the thick and curvy side, not too thick. Um, very pretty girl, um, hope you don't have any body shaming issues. I wouldn't change anything about you or your diet, just keep doing you and don't let Mexicans inside your house. Tell them I was happy and my heart is broken, all my scars are open. Tell them what I hoped would be impossible, falling out of love is hard, falling for betrayal is worse. Broken trust and broken hearts and thinking all you need is there. Building faith on love and words, empty promises will wear, I know. Okay, I'm going to stop right there because I can't continue because that is done. But I'm going to let you know that you don't need to be sad in life. It's okay to feel pain. It's okay to feel feelings. But, you know, stay optimistic. Keep your head up and, you know, curve bitches. What the fuck is blueberry? What the fuck is blueberry? What is blueberry? You like blueberries? And I'm going to miss you like a child misses their blanket. Is that something a pedophile would say? Wouldn't something like Jeffrey Dahmer say that? Anyway guys, out of all these people that I just viewed, it was only like three or four or something like that. Um, I wouldn't change anything about you. All of you seem to be healthy and seem to have a healthy body. None of you are ugly. You all seem perfectly normal. You seem like a genuine ideal body type that any girl should thrive for. Except for Natalie, you need to put on about 15, 20 pounds at most. Um, some of you can stop doing the whole basic bitch puff duck face dick sucking thing. I'm going to do more videos like this and if there's something that you want me to talk about specifically then you can tweet me at Twitter or DM me on Instagram. The links will be in the crotch below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Stop me on all of my social media links down in the crotch below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. Tag them. Tweet this bitch. Suck somebody's dick from behind and with that being said I'm out. Good damn bye.